Hey, what's going on YouTube? J or Jamo, we back again with the Moto Z Play. And I'm um, gonna do just do a little quick video. We're gonna just test the charging solutions for this phone. Because when I got the phone in the box came this, I think it's called Turbo Power or yeah, Turbo Power 15 charger. Um it does charge the phone really fast, but my only problem with it was that it comes like this. There's no USB that you can then go and use on my computer, which um kind of annoyed me. It was a bit lazy by Motorola. So um, you know, that forced me to have to buy another USB C cable that I could use on my Windows laptop. And I thought, you know, I might as well just look into buying another cable altogether. So um we've got a couple um fast chargers that use different technologies. Like we've got this one plus three dash charger. Um, it's usually suitable for the OnePlus 3, but we're going to just give it a try on the Moto Z Play, because why not? Um, we got this Orki Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 Fast Charger from Amazon. Um, I'll put the link in the description below as well. As you can see, I've had that one quite a while. Um, we've also got a newer Orki Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 Charger um from amazon i'll put the link for this in the description below as well this one is a bit of a beast and it's got a little green light there i'm not sure what that aio means but um yeah it looks dope um got two USB C chargers or ports here and you've got four USB chargers on that one and <coughs> excuse me just for banter we went to the pound shop and we got this little fake apple iphone charger um does it even have any statistics on there um, it, it just charges basically. This is like the lowest of the low you can get. Um, and yeah, we're going to just try these and see which one charges the one, I mean, not the one plus three, the Moto Z Play the quickest. So, um, we're going to use Ampere to check the ampage. And what should we start with? Let's start with the good old faithful Motorola charger. So I'm going to just plug that in over here. Let's flick down the switch and get that plugged in right here and let's see what we get if i can plug this in okay turbo power connected so you know you got the little got the little greeting there letting you know that turbo power is connected you can see it says turbo charge rate right there um 90 okay um that's not all that really oh 580 okay one oh okay one thousand five hundred two thousand uh, is that is that as far as we're going? <coughs> 2,100. 2,220. Um, we're going to go any more. 2,270. And I think... Oh, okay, that look, seems to be it. So 2,270, the highest we're going to get on the Turbo Power 15 charger that Motorola supply you in the box. Um, we're going to go to the cheap pound shop charger. And first of all... We're going to try the OnePlus 3 dash charging cable in there. And let's see what we get. Hold on. Right. Plug that in there. Right. Let's see. Here we go. Power connected. Normal charge rate, though. <coughs> right. Let's see what we're getting. Are we going to get anything? I'm not even sure. I'm being quite optimistic at the moment. 330. 670. 850. Okay, we're 870. And I think I think we've maxed out at 870 right there. Yeah, I think we've maxed out at 870. Not bad. Um let's try a different cable just in case we're gonna get any better performance. We've got this little USB C C to USB 3.0 cable here. Plug the 3.0 side in there. This cable is made by TechNet. Okay, let's get that plugged in. <coughs> let's see what we get here. Power connected. Normal charge rate. Okay. Same old, same old. Let's see. 160. Oof, even lower start. 340. 510. 870. Okay. And that seems to be all we're getting. So 870 seems to be the highest you can get on this little cheap pound shop charger. 
Um, eight seventy is not really going to get you anywhere, but I suppose it will charge your phone better than any better than nothing. <laughs> um, did we have another little? Ca- ah, yeah, we got another little cable. This is actually a, a Motorola cable. Um, for my older Motorola X Play. But um, we're going to just plug that in there. And we're going to just see how far that gets. I've got a little USB-C adapter. I think it's from Transmart. Also from Amazon. Put all the links in the description below for you guys. <coughs> now let's see what we are getting. Two sixty. Four ten. Seven ten. Eight sixty. And yeah, we're gonna max out. So eight sixty to eight seventy with the cheap pound shop charger. But it's to be expected, right? Now which one of these are plugged in? Oh, they're all plugged in. Okay, so let's try the dash charger again. Um and first of all, we're gonna plug it into one of the AI ports and let's see what we get. So plug the dash charger in there, plug it back into the phone. And let's see what we get in. Power connected. <coughs> One eighty eight twenty. One thousand one forty. One thousand four seventy. 1,470 is not bad, I suppose. It's quite decent. Yeah, it could be worse. Right, let's try and charge it into the fast charge 2.0 port. And let me just ready the next cable. Still says normal charging rate. 1,450 though, we're starting up. One thousand four sixty. I don't see myself getting any more than that, though. And one thing that's really good of these cables is that each port gets its own separate power supply kind of thing. So it's not a case of you plug in another gadget and it gets shared. Each individual gadget gets its own power supply. So that's quite good of these from Orki. I'm going to plug that one out now. And we're going to plug in. Oops, that's already plugged in. Let's try the USB 3.0 to USB-C cable. Let's see what we're going to get right here. Three ten. Five ninety. Eleven. One thousand four. Uh, a little bit less than the other two. I think they made it to 1,450. And yeah, 1,004 seems to be the maximum there. Let's just plug it into the USB 2.0, see what happens. <coughs> 1,050. 1,450. What did I say 1,050? Wow. 150, I meant 1,000, 1,370. Are we going up? We can go up a bit more, make it to 1,004 at least. No, that's what you're getting. Okay, so some gadgets seem to give you less with the USB, I mean the Qualcomm Quick Charge 2.0 port because obviously they are not made for that. Um, Shall I bother charge? I'll, I'll try. Should I try the USB-C adapter? I guess I'll try that for you guys. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're going to try the USB-C adapter cable. Just for you guys. <coughs> Just to see what we get. Measuring, measuring, measuring. Still normal charging rate. 160. We're going to get higher. 470. 180. 13, 1390. And it looks like we're at a bottleneck right there. And I think we're going to get the same for USB 2.0, to be honest. But we'll just give it a try. 
find out what is the best charging solution for the Moto Z Play. So far, it seems to be the original charger, the Turbo Power 15 charger that they've given us. But we've still yet to check the Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 from Orki. And it looks like we're stuck at 1380 here as well. Okay, so onwards to the USB 3.0 charger from Orki. This one, this one is a beast. I'm not even going to lie. Um, it is quite a beast. So let's try it with the dash charging cable from OnePlus 3. Here we go. I feel like the OnePlus 3 dash charging cable is like the gold standard of all cables. Like, it just does jobs. Whether the charger or power brick is crap or not, it seems to just do jobs. So let's see what we get here. 490. 1120. 1440. Oh, no, no more. Okay, 1440, 1430. And all those other ports are the same apart from the USB C port at the bottom. So I'll just plug that out and chuck that away. Get the USB 3.0 to USB C cable and let's give this a try again. Right, let's see what's going on here. Not much at the moment. 170. 470. 1050. 1340. 1350. And I think we have maxed out at 1350. Yeah, that's maxed out. Now we shall try the USB-C adapter cable with the normal Motorola USB cable. What are they called normal Motorola USB cables? What, what is that connection called? Is it called USB-B? I'm not even sure what that is. Or USB-A? I'm sure it's actually called USB-A. But we're going to just call them normal USB cables for now. Uh, okay, 450, 1040, 1330, and I think we have officially maxed out at 1330 with the USB-C adapter from Transmart. But now, let's go into the USB-C to USB-C cables from Orki. There we go, both from Orki. I'll plug it into any of these ports. And let's see what we get. Straight away, power connected. Turbo power connected! And that is usually a good sign. Once you see the little turbo on the charge rate there. Oh, okay, we're getting 140 only. 940. 1340. 1740, there we go. Maxed out at 1740. Nothing more than that. Ah, 1730. So I'm assuming that the USB-C is going to have more potential to get to a higher level anyway, because obviously my... Ah, oh, that's why my battery's at 70% now. So obviously, the higher you go in percentage, the less the charging um, power... Well, for what I understand, the higher, higher your battery percentage the less and the slower the charging speed starts to go with these chargers. So it protects your phone or something like that. I don't really know. I just charge. But um, yeah, guys, so USB-C charger from Orki, Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. Oh, there you go. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. If you have, thanks for subscribing and for liking, and I'll see you in the next one. J. Jabo out.